I'm gonna attempt to become the master of, of doctory. That's a thing, right? Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kid, and it looks like this guy got in a fight with a porcupine. I think the porcupine won. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, just use a vacuum. Little tiny vacuum. Spray some antiseptic stuff on his arm. There you go. All right, and then put a little band-aid on there. And maybe next time you get in a fight with a porcupine, you'll wear long sleeves. Something terrible has happened to this woman. I think she's choking. Oh my gosh, what is... Are you eating emeralds? Like like, why is there green rocks on the back of your, like, your your tonsils? I guess they're tonsil stones. That's a real thing, but I don't think they're typically that color. This lady is is preparing her battle with, with uh, Superman by eating kryptonite. This ass. Apparently that lady was a singer, so she eats kryptonite, but she needs her voice to, you know, do her job. I don't know. People are weird. I suppose I need to connect the proper colors. Okay. That's what being a doctor means. It means that you know how to attach primary colors. Oh, got a tap. Okay. We don't want to... Wait, do we want to go too far? Or... I don't know. I don't know is probably not what you want to hear from your doctor, but I'm learning. You know, I'm, I'm leveling up, and that is a big old rusty nail in the bottom of your foot that is truly disgusting. I hate it. Gosh, this is... Oh, oh, oh we need to like wiggle it out. Oh my gosh! No! You gotta like find the right angle. Oh, dude. Okay. Oh, man, that made my foot hurt. Alright, we'll just put some ointment on there. Oh, 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 oh man, that made me not feel great, but I'm glad that this dude is feeling a lot better. Oh my, oh, someone let a dog out in the surgery room, the operating room. What is going on? Why are the floors so disgusting? It, obviously, I need to wash my hands as the surgeon Um, and uh, probably need to find this dog that filthied up the floor. Goodness gracious. What is wrong with this hospital? All right, yeah, put your gloves on. Nice and sanitized, ready for surgery. What is happening? Does this dude have appendicitis? What? <laughs> okay, get the... Oh, am I shaving his belly? What is happening? Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, yeah, okay. I could understand why you'd be having a bad day. We're gonna have to, I don't know, fix that. Again, I'm the doctor. I should probably figure out how to fix it, but like I said, I'm still learning. What's going on here? We gotta line everything up. Okay. And then, oh, I see. I see. Oh. <laughs> Those are some really messed up teeth, lady. I'm glad that we have the power to actually fix your teeth through x-rays. That is gonna improve your day immensely. Yeah, you're probably not gonna wanna get into an MRI machine, which I think is like, it stands for magnetic, is it magnetic resonance imaging or something like that? Magnetic radiation image? I don't know. It's magnets. Obviously, as a doctor, I should know that. At the very least, I know that you should not be wearing all of these metal accessories when you get inside of a giant magnet. Oh, you need to, yeah, you need to lay properly. There you go. Yep, there you go, sir. Well done. Look at me. I, I'm a doctor, and I know exactly what I am doing. <laughs> what the heck? You have an alien on your arm. Sorry, I'm not qualified to deal with aliens. That thing is absolutely horrifying. Oh my gosh! Kill it! Kill it! I can't. Uh, it's too strong. Okay, we gotta tweezer this thing off of his arm. <sighs> okay, drop the specimen in the bowl and send that off to Area 51 or something. I don't know. Gosh. Yep, put the band-aid on. If you start growing extra arms or, you know, your spit dissolves metal or any kind of symptoms like that, probably gonna wanna get that checked out. Just saying. I, I don't know what an alien bite does to you, but just be aware the possible changes that you might experience. Anyways, why are you here? I came for job interview. Why do you want this job? Helping people is my passion. I think this man is dying. Um, 
Oh my gosh, there's so many obstacles. Okay, yeah, uh, no, this is actually kind of awesome. So we need to keep the, uh, the, I don't know, the saline, uh, full so that we can keep this man alive while we run him to the OR. Um, I, I'm running out of juice here. We're almost there. It's not the OR. We're running to the ER. Doesn't make sense. We're in the hospital already. Maybe we're doing emergency surgery in the emergency room. What is happening? Your heart? Checking your heart. Okay. I know where your heart is. <laughs> I'm a doctor, of course. Um, lungs. No. Uh, what is that? Kidney? Is that your kidney? That looks like a kidney. I don't think you typically listen to a kidney using your stethoscope, but I'm not the expert. I'm just the guy who's doing what the game is telling me to do. And then we're gonna listen to your stomach. Oh, that's gurgling. You got, you got some tummy issues going on? Anyways, you're great. Why? Why? Why would I want a chainsaw? What am I going to use a chainsaw for? Okay, you know what? I got 1500 bucks. I'm gonna buy it. Okay. I mean, a tiny chainsaw to remove casts. That seems kind of cool. A little dangerous, but sure. All right. We'll just cut along the lines here. You probably want to adjust your angle. Okay. I'm glad that you did that, Doc. Uh, he had a really evil smirk on his face, though, when, when we handed him that chainsaw. That's a little uh, concerning, I would say. Here we are, trying to do everything we can, holding on to what I am, pretending I'm a Superman. Does anybody know that reference? Probably not. Oh, dude, what happened to your toe? Seriously, what happened to your toe? This is not normal. They're so out of the ordinary. I'm I'm grinding green nail. Now you have no nails. You do have. I'm, I'm why why was there purple under? I, I'm very concerned about your toe. I feel like we should just cut off your whole foot. Maybe that was that the guy who got bit by the alien? Because that could could be a you know long term symptom there. Green toenails. What is this special item? Golden grills with diamonds? I can't because I I turned off my internet. I'm sure it's very, very fun. I don't want to get hit with 100 eggs. <laughs> okay, so it would have given this guy uh, the beautiful smile that you saw there. Boxers, taking a few punches to the to the mouth, I suppose. So we're going to fix up that mouth for this guy. He's going to be looking spick and span. Okay, yeah, we need to get all this gunk. That is not a result of getting punched in the face. That's a result of just improper tooth hygiene. You need to floss more often and just brush more often in general. General. Also, like, I'm a very diversified uh, medical practitioner. Wow, that was a very complicated thing to say. I guess I'm a dentist in addition to being, like, an emergency room doctor? What happened to your head? I guess we gotta find out. Remove the band-aids. Yeah, those probably weren't doing much for, like, this massive knot that you have on the back of your head. What did you do, man? Drop a bowling ball on there? What? I'm painting hair back on his head? Okay, sure. There you go. Good as new. Uh, oh, what is living in your ears, guy? Dude. Okay, we got to irrigate. I've actually done this before, and um, there wasn't that much gunk in my ear, to be honest. Gosh, th but this guy, holy cow. It's just a never-ending cascade of garbage just coming out of his ear hole. It's disgusting. All right, I, I need to pay attention. I need to get the gauge all the way up. There you go. All right, it's Q-tip time. You know, uh, technically, you're not supposed to use Q-tips to clean your ears because you'll impact the earwax and actually cause more damage than good. I see some nasty looking bacteria. Although that one looks like a donut. Kind of cute little donut bacteria. Anyways, let's zap these guys. Get rid of them. Nope. That they're. Oh my gosh, they're bouncing all over the place. Out of here. Oh, it's the boss bacteria. <laughs> That's so good. Destroy the boss bacteria. Oh, there we go. Defeated. What's happening here? Break open this jar by flicking it. Okay, there you go. What -a! Tap to break off the end. This is some kind of medication. It is purple. That's interesting. That it helps that late. She didn't seem like she was feeling too hot. What's going on, dude? Oh my gosh. These are like golf ball size pimples. Um, I just imagine like the doctor wearing like a welder's mask when he does this. Something nasty is about to happen. Ooh, ooh, ha! I hate this so much. <laughs> 
Oh, gosh. Okay, let's clean those rows. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better. That had to be so uncomfortable. What? I'm doing tattoo removal? What were you thinking? This guy's tattoo literally says ex-girlfriend. Like, okay, I get it. You tattooed the name of your girlfriend at the time on your arm, and then you break up and you're like, shoot, I've got this lady's name who I don't even know anymore on my arm forever. Can we get rid of it somehow? But this dude, this guy, he walked up there and he's like, I don't really know her name and I know we're gonna break up at some point. So like, can you do ex-girlfriend in the heart? Cause that seems like a really great idea. I uh, just, I, well, I'm, I'm glad that I can help this dude, but there's only so much I can do. <laughs> Okay, and then we're, we're lasering it off is definitely something that you probably should have realized is gonna happen when, uh, when you first got that tattoo. Yes, I would like to make an alien feel better. This is gonna be a sick alien. Or maybe this is the dude who got bit by the alien bug earlier. He turned into a straight up Martian. I don't know. <laughs> He does not seem okay though. Oh my God. I love, okay. I absolutely love this. Look at his head, his little like Shrek ears. They actually have bones. Who would have thought, man, I'm learning so much. Bone doesn't look broken. Like it looks totally fine, but I guess if it's hurting and causing discomfort, maybe, maybe it's a hairline fracture that we couldn't pick up or something. Look at him. He's yeah. Now I can go play volleyball, which is something that aliens love to do. It happened. Okay, oh, I see, she needs to follow the light because she has a head injury. So we need to make sure that her brain is working properly. It seems like everything's checking out so far. Check the reflexes, that's good. All right, check the other knee, looking good. She gave me a little wink, okay. Um, what happened here? What? What is this? Oh, those are veins. Is this deep vein thrombosis? I don't know what that actually is. I know that it's something that can happen like when you fly on a plane or something and it can actually be pretty dangerous, I, I think. <laughs> but here we are. We're, we're fixing these veins. Mission accomplished, and she's feeling much better. Gave us a little, yeah. Man, I am definitely becoming a master doctor. What can I say? Now I'm mixing some kind of chemicals around. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. So you want to mix the colors together. That's chemistry 101, of course. <laughs> Gotta fix this guy's positioning here. Okay. Hospital beds are probably one of the most complicated things on the planet. I, I do have to say, they have so many butts. They scare me. So we need to lift your head up. No, we need to put your head down. Oh, gosh. That seems so unbelievable uncomfortable. This is what we're supposed to do, huh? Am I good? Th yep, there you go. Okay, beautiful. That is a very, very uncomfortable position. What is happening here? Seriously, like, were you trying to turn yourself into a rubber band ball? Is that what's happening? I guess. Oh, oh, it's, no, it's, it's like gauze, but it's just different colors. I guess he was going for a very festive look. Good for him. Oh, got him green ones. I see. And then the yellow one. Get rid of the yellow one. Yep. And then the blue one. And then you're good to go. It's like, yeah, I feel great. Yes. Man, that was the best day of this dude's life. Oh, dear me. What happened to you? This is why you don't play around with electricity. I need to, okay, we're looking for bad things. Well, this seems like a terrible idea. I'm about to jumpstart this dude. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. I'm a doctor. We've, we've removed the electricity from your body and your hair instantly went back to normal <laughs> so stupid <laughs> Oh, I am actually really enjoying this game. These are some really, really dumb scenarios. Okay, I think I understand what needs to be done. We go yellow first, and then we go red. Get the red in there. And once again, chemistry 101, uh, do the colors, because chemicals have colors. I'm a scientist, doctor, scientist, chemist. Checks out. Oh, this is a this is a weird one. Okay, so basically I need to remove the path. There, there you go. What's going on, man? Oh, that, that looks infected. You're gonna wanna see a doctor. I'll go try to find one. Oh no, who, me? No, I'm just a dude. I just walked in off the street, put on this lab coat. And for some reason, people trust me, save their lives. <laughs> Super weird, right? I know. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that hurts. Ooh, how, okay. But like, how did you get the ring on your finger in the first place? That's the weird part for me. But yeah, we need to get this thing off. So we're gonna use some, I don't know, like some kind of oil or something. Grease it up, okay. Okay, we're twisting. Oh man, that hurts. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. No, we can we can get this. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, man. That was nasty. Why did you eat a coin? This is something that toddlers do, not grown adults. What is wrong with you? What did you think this would accomplish? Okay. <laughs> What a weird way to fix this issue, though. I would love that. If this is really the way that they got coins out, I wonder if there is some kind of medical way to use a magnet to remove a coin. But most of the coins not magnetic. Like, I think only dimes. I don't, I'm, I'm stupid. You guys probably know that. But I'm a doctor. Chemist, scientist, guy. Whoa. Probably not the reaction that you want from your doctor immediately after they walk in. Just being honest. I'm glad you're here. That's what it boils down to. Oh my gosh, that thing's gonna explode. You have, like, a 200 need to cool down late. You're melting the ice in this heat pack. What the heck? Also, there's like a line in the middle of her head that I'm very concerned about. Vitamin bears, eat your vitamins. All right, yep, lots of vitamins. That's like a month's worth of vitamins that she took in the matter of 10 seconds. Great plan. Oh, I love this. We're writing a prescription for this lady and you gotta sign it. And this is basically what doctor's signatures look like. Honestly, this is kind of what signature looks like looks like. Oh gosh. I can't even write my own. Is that good enough? That was good enough. What? I'm changing my signature? I don't know if this is going to fly. This might cause some, some legal issues for me in the future. It's not good enough. What? Okay. So I had to completely start over. I like how the <laughs> doctor, he's just sitting at his desk playing solitaire. That's actually what he does all day. And then every once in a while, he'll walk into um, a patient's room and remove an alien from their arm. This is so bad. It actually passed though. Whew, boy, rough day. The signing pieces of two pieces of paper. I'm beat. Um, we're making life-saving gummy bears. Okay. No, 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 no. Nope, that's not correct. I was supposed to do blue first. Do you think it matters? Maybe it doesn't matter. Let's hope it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. It didn't matter. Get that gummy bear ointment on there. There you go. Press sunburn. Oh my gosh, someone's heart rate. That's not good. We need to get it to 70 or 75. Okay, uh, no, we need to go blue. Okay, so blue makes the number go up faster. You're you're good. No, I need to get this thing to 12. Tap until it gets to 12. There, there. Oh, stay. Yeah! Yeah! Look at me saving lives. <laughs> Love how excited he was about saving that person's life. What a dude. Alright, I know what needs to happen here, I think. So basically, I need to pour that in there, and then pour that in there, and then pour the reds together, and chemistry again. Oh, good! Good, more alien bugs. Kind of weird that I I've dealt with so many alien bugs. Actually, you know what? This thing, th this might actually be just a giant tick, which is absolutely horrifying. I hate that in so many ways. Um, you're gonna need to get like a test for Lyme disease because that is the biggest tick I've ever seen in my life. And that ain't right. But I think it's safe to say I'm a master doctor now. Yep, should be getting my credentials in the mail anytime. Hang them up on the wall. <laughs> Tell people I know what I'm doing. I absolutely do not.